Greetings to all and lovers on my channel and on the second chapter of the story about leaf cutters. You have already seen the first part and today we found out whether the fungus was able to recover in the end. In some episodes we spot that the fungus was on the verge of death and they had to order another layer of ants with fungus to add to my colony. It also turned out that my Eta Mexicana leaf cutters fit very easily without any external influences. Sit back, sip your favorite drink, now it's going to be interesting. Enjoy watching! A little evening vibe. There are really big soldiers in the donor lair, but we'll come to their settlement a little later. All casts are present. And while I made in the smallest ones in order to mix the smells of two colonies and in the future toss large batches of workers at once. By the way, keep in mind that leaf cutters cut perfectly anything. Of course, this is the work of their whole life. For example, small workers somehow leaked out of this container, naming through the hot glue with which I fixed the ventilation. And the anti-escape is not friendly with moisture, so I had to leave with small leaf cutters running around the table. Evening time is the time to work with the ants, at least for me. This very moment, it seems to me, is filled with harmony and inspiration, and that, as by coincidence, are also very comfortable ends for evening gatherings. Everything goes as smoothly as possible. At such moments, I directly interact with them, which I really like. Such kind dance weekends. In the meantime, I filtered out a new piece of fungus and recruited a new group of workers to share. And now I need to give the ants peace. After a week it was time to see again how my leaf catchers feel there. I must say that by this point I had already begun to notice the cut leaves, which indicate the correct approach to these ants. For example, here I find cores all over the nesting compartment, if they can be called that from blackberry leaves. While the colony is young, I quite often disturbed them by lifting this gravy ball under which moisture is concentrated. It can be seen that the fungus has grown, but so far just a little bit. Soon we'll see the real progress of the development of this organism. In the meantime, I'm not too lazy to continue adding small pieces of the new fungus. Yes, just in case. And also gradually add new ants. And in my free time, I read articles on the Ant Club about the experience with Valera sleeve cutters. I remember there were bearded times when, at the beginning of my hobby, I spent hours rummaging through the Ant Club in search of fascinating articles. Yes, perishing then this forum still was alive. Of course, the stories with leaf cutters made the greatest impression on me. I remember that I read many keepers, but stealth posts I remember most of all. Besides, it's to this person that I write with questions about Tata, if any. Valera, thanks for your help. Now every day the progress of ants is becoming more noticeable. They are already actively walking around the outworld in search of leaves, cut it and bring it to the nest, where all the fun happens. Let's disrupt the leaf cutters again, but there is already something to see. As you can see, I cut the ends right behind the leaf processing, and the most attentive can notice changes in the fungus. Pay attention on the growth on the mycelium, which is very well illuminated by the lamp. This is the nutrient mass from the ground leaves, which the mycelium will capture. In the meantime, I'm gradually completing the replanting of the fungus. As you can see, now I don't get a chance from it at all. 
I go just with them. In addition, I add another batch of workers. The queen is very worried in such moments. So far the fungus is still too small for her to live in it, therefore she is wandering in search of shelter. And I don't miss the opportunity to shoot her, because when she hides in a fungus I will very rarely see her. And now the ants are not longer getting a gravy ball, but a whole piece of the bottle so that there is a gross reserve for the mycelium. In just a couple of days you can evaluate the progress of the ants. The fungus is growing, this is a sign that I did everything right, and that the colony started active growth. Now it's up to the little thing. The main thing is to maintain humidity and don't forget to give the ants leaves. At this stage the fungus can grow several times in one night. It already clearly shows the formation of chambers in which ants and the queen will live in the future, which still can't find a place for itself. And now it's time to feed our ants. It's probably not quite right to call it feeding. Ants don't eat leaves though. This is a nutrient substrate for fungus cultivation. But anyway, you can watch this process forever. I never thought that daily under my nose leaf cutters would be doing their chores. After a few more days I'm ready to implement the last addition of the fungus and the workers to my colony, and then they will already grow on their own, without outside help. And again, the picture has changed dramatically. Now I see a completely different spectacle. Now it's no longer the same microfungus that it was at the beginning. It has become a full-fledged home for ants. However, it still has a long story ahead of it and what we see is far from the limit of its capabilities. For some reason the fungus only grew from one part of the mycelium that I gave to the ants. Perhaps this is due to the fact that there are still not enough workers to process this entire area. Well, let's fix it. This time I threw about half a hundred workers without fear, and I planted the last piece of the fungus that I had left for the ants. Let this be the final stage of my help to the colony. There are more ants now, consequently the growth of the fungus will also accelerate. But I don't see any new generations yet. The most I've seen are eggs. So I still have to wait for the last point of successful development of leaf cutters. New native workers. And the atas grew bolder over time. Now when shooting I have to catch them a little bit. Ants are doing great. Finally I got it. It turned out to raise real leaf cutters right at home. Now I give the ants a break from myself. Thanks for watching this video. In two weeks you have seen a lot of the life of my leaf cutters, but after two weeks I showed how Ata Mexicana leaves at the present time. And how big could they grow? Looks like we have a new favorite ants, it's not surprising. In the last part I will tell you where they came from, and why when I said that I was not going to buy the sands, I didn't lie. In anticipation of a new video you should watch my other videos that are on this channel. Subscribe to the channel, recommend this video to friends. This is an Star project, see you!